Energy Media readers, as you can tell, it is casual Saturday around the newsroom, and uh, but we're going to be doing something today that is a little offbeat. We're not talking about energy per se, but we are talking about the biggest story in news these days, COVID-19, and I've got Dr. Joe Vipen from the Calgary, uh, uh, who's a doctor in a Calgary emergency room with me. Welcome to the interview, Joe. Thanks, Mark. Good to be here. We're talking about masking to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Joe, tell me what the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, now says about everybody wearing a mask. They are now recommending that uh, all people that are walking outside of their door are wearing something to cover their face. And they're specifically requesting that that be a, a cloth mask and not a manufactured mask so that we keep those valuable manufactured masks for the healthcare workers that need them on the front lines. You have a great idea to make a mask out of two t-shirts. And this, uh, I think this is brilliant. Please explain what uh, your, your idea for us. Like, just let's be clear, I'm not a seamstress and I can't really give um, sewing advice, but I can tell you that if you look at Masks for All, um, there's a website from the United States that's got some good patterns. And so I would rely on some of those um, tried and true patterns um, rather than anything, any advice coming out of my mouth. <laughs> gotcha. And we've, everybody's got t-shirts in their uh, closet that they're not wearing. So there should be lots of material. And the, one, the reason why, as I understand the way you explained it, why this is important, it's the uh, spittle that comes out of our mouth when we speak that, that can carry COVID-19. If we can contain the spittle of uh, all of us, then we have much less risk of spreading it, of, uh, spreading infection. Have I got that right? Well, can I, can I expand on that? So that's one of it. So one aspect is you as a possible source patient, because you are either pre-symptomatic or asymptomatic carrier, you're going out of the house. Because if you were symptomatic, you just stay in the house, right? There's no way you would leave the house if you're sore throat because you're a good um, citizen. But, but you could still be a transmitter if you're uh, asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic, which means like two days or two to three days before you start to have symptoms, you're still um, exuding the virus. So uh, for those people that do have to leave the house, say you have work or you know, everybody has to buy groceries at some point, that you should be wearing the mask. And if, if you're one of those patients, you're gonna have a decreased likelihood of, of transmitting the, the, the virus. There's also, um, if you are uh, not infected, there's good evidence that wearing the mask will prevent you from getting infected. Um, so just by breathing in virus when you're walking around, that's why we're keeping people two meters apart uh, uh, as, as, a, uh, 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 you know, as a general uh, recommendation. And, and Markham, I'm gonna get you to do one thing for me. Can you put your hand over your face like you're wearing a mask? Now try and pick your nose. <laughs> I can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> so, so even though you might fidget with the mask a little bit, and you you try and avoid that, that's for sure. But you cannot put your fingers in your mouth. You can't put your fingers in your nose if you're wearing the mask. And that's, and because we know that people pick up virus on their hands, that's why we request people do frequent hand washing. Um, the, um, the inability to stick those contaminated fingers up your nose is, is really important. Well, I'm, I'm sure there are, are mothers everywhere who would be pleased to, to uh, uh, cure their toddlers of that, uh, that ha bad habit. So, Joe, there is some science of, of what I understand you saying. There is some science around the requirement for everybody to be masked when they go outside of, of the house. And I saw, I read an article the other day that said, even if it's not perfect, an abundance of caution, we should be doing everything. Right. And to be clear, up until Friday, yesterday, um, the CDC, the WHO, and the Public Health Association of Canada all recommended not wearing masks for, for asymptomatic patients. And so now we have the CDC and the WHO that are, that are changing their tune on this. The Public Health Association of Canada um, has not changed their recommendation, but uh, I think it would be um, unlikely that they won't change their views in the overpowering um, evidence that's coming out that asymptomatic spread is a huge issue. One of the good ideas that we've seen come out of uh, discussions recently is that there are groups of people with, who do have sewing skills who are actually sewing masks uh, for the general public. They're doing this as a public service. And there are all kinds of clothing, uh, surplus clothing in places like thrift stores that would probably give away those kinds of, you know, t-shirts and so on that would, material that would be appropriate. 
And so one of the things we might encourage readers uh, who are watching this, if you have uh, sewing skills, if you have time, and if you have access to these materials, maybe you could start producing some of these for your friends, your neighbors, your family. And, and the volunteers are actually uh, delivering them to, to people's doors. They need people to deliver. Yeah, look up your own grassroots uh, organization. They're popping up all over the country. And, um, and I think it really helps for people to feel like they're doing something rather than just sitting in their basement watching Netflix, that we all have a need to help. And so this is a concrete way that people can, can get involved and, and make changes. Joe, thank you very much for this. We'll be coming back to you, I am sure, uh, over the next little while for more tips and, and uh, insight, uh, particularly the science around this. Really appreciate your, your uh, insights on that. Wash your hands frequently, wear a mask, stay away from other people, stay in, in your house if you don't have to go out. Those are the big things. Thanks, Joe. Okay, take care.